Hi, I'm Jessica Stoner with Remax Alpine Realty here in Canmore, Alberta. Today we're talking about retiring in Canmore. This is one of our major driving markets right now and why Canmore has been a bit insulated from the rest of the Alberta markets over the last couple of years. The Canmore market is still quite strong and active and healthy and it's because we have a lot of future retirees buying in Canmore right now. So one of the main driving factors of why people are attracted to Canmore for retirement is pretty obvious for anyone who's already considering it. A lot of it has to do with the outdoor lifestyle. That is a big part of the community here. We have world-class skiing, uh, several different resorts all within an hour to hour and a half from your door. Uh, we have several golf courses, um, many that people make a destination from outside of the area to come and golf. We have hiking for the next 30, 40, 50 years. You probably won't do as, you, you could potentially do a new trail every time. Mountain biking is a big thing. We have lots of road riding, uh, lots of water sports, uh, kayaking and stand up paddle boarding. So anyone who is familiar with this already is aware. <laughs> On top of that, we have extensive events and programming and festivals and galleries and screenings and live performances. It is really hard to walk around town without running into unplanned some art event or live music or a market or a community art piece. It's a big part of who uh, we are in Canmore and that is very attractive to a lot of people who are considering retiring in the area. For seniors specifically, we do have things that are going to be important practically. We have a hospital here in town. Uh, we have a cancer center in that hospital. We also have a hospital in Banff that's 20 minutes away and another hospital 45 minutes away just inside Calgary at Foothills. So healthcare is quite strong in the community. We have more doctors here. I don't know this as a fact, but it seems like we have more doctors here than anywhere I know, mostly because the, uh, lifestyle is attracting a lot of doctors to the area. So it's not as hard as it is in other areas to find yourself a primary caregiver. In addition to the practicality of having good health care, if you're thinking of retiring here, there's other practical thoughts that people are considering. So for example, one of them is the proximity of an international airport. So we have a uh, International Airport, an hour and 15 minutes away from Canmore, and that is really convenient because we have a lot of retirees coming in and they plan to travel a lot. Uh, some of them plan to snowboard, and in addition to that, they want a lot of their friends and family to be able to come and visit them, and having that International Airport nearby is um, really convenient. So make sure that their friends and family will be able to come see them. we have some distinct differences when it comes to taxes. The really obvious one first is that Alberta doesn't have the GST and uh, BC has the GST or HST, which just makes the cost of living different. We have a lower tax uh, corporate rate in Alberta and a lot of retirees still have a lot of their uh, retirement funds in their corporations. Uh, we also have no land transfer tax when you're purchasing real estate, which could add up to a good amount. And of course, when you're looking into BC and some other provinces, they have uh, a land transfer tax when you purchase. We have no speculation and vacancy tax, which is a new tax that has been introduced into a number of places in BC as well as we have no foreign buyers tax. So for a lot of potential retirees or future retirees, all of these or some of these may be relevant and it is one of the reasons people tend to choose Alberta and therefore Canmore um, as their future retirement destination. Let's talk about real estate. <laughs> When people are considering Canmore as their retirement destination, they're thinking, of course, the property they're going to live in. A lot of future retirees, what's buying, uh, driving us now, they're buying their home in Canmore now. Some of them are buying their future retirement home right now. And some of them are buying 
the actual home they plan to retire in and they may just use it as a recreation property for the next three to five years or whatnot until they retire. And some are choosing to rent it out and then they will um, uh, retire and move into Canmore and move into the home themselves. There is another option that we see some people doing. And some of these folks are buying into Canmore right now. They're not buying their future retirement home. They're buying something in Canmore and renting it out so that it uh, covers itself to a good degree. They don't all cover themselves with rentals, but it's more of an investment to be invested into the market. So when prices appreciate, their real estate is appreciating with the market. Yet they're not putting the full dollar amount that they're going to spend on their future retirement home. They're not spending it now. But a lot of people are well aware that um, the retirement demand will be growing in Canmore. We have a very finite footprint. We have about you know 10 to 15 years or so before we have build out. There's no more land after that. There's no more areas that Canmore can grow. So a lot of people doing their research realize that they should buy in now and uh, they're in the market and they'll appreciate with the market assuming that's what the market's going to do and many people believe very much that that's the direction it's going but there's no question that this is a group that is driving Canmore demand and will continue to do so most likely for the next number of years. That's all I have for you today and if you have any questions or you would like more information, please feel free to contact us at jessicastoner.ca or you can email us at team at jessicastoner.ca and we'd love to talk to you.